Previously on Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. I guess you're right. A governor looks a bit on it. <laughs> yes, he sure does. It's just like how nobody notices the urn is broken. Nobody notices that one guard over there is dead. And now back to staring at people. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. We last left off, I believe we completed our investigation and now we're on to the final bit of the trial where we'll try to get Ron off for fucking murdering somebody. God dang it. I... I don't know. I it it seems like it's gonna end up being at me again, but I don't know. It just it just seems strange to me a little bit that he would end up being the vic. He would end up being the bad guy in both the thief and the the murder case. You know, I don't know. I just expected. I mean, he's already arrested, so it's like it's like we're just I guess just throw some more stuff on there for him. Um, and he's already sort of shown he's fucking insane. But yeah, I'll be curious to see. I don't know exactly what uh his what reason he would have for killing this other guy. Um, let's go find out. On tower 14, 9.41 AM, District Court, Fennet Lobby, number four. Hey, Nick, bye! Oh, what is it this time? You will believe other people are here for the trial? Well, it is a, it is a murder case. What you talking about, Nick? They're here for the trial next door. Next door? Oh. What? Why don't you know this, Nick? Uh, they're having Detective Abby's trial today. Think about me? Oh wait, and I'm not there. What? They say you're going to try his master mask. <laughs> Already? Oh, that was fast. Well, I'd love to see him as the best trial. Uh, I know it's probably Musicato. Oh, wait, what? What's that? We're not respond. By the way, where's pearls? What, what was that? <laughs> I know. What was that orange creepy link creepy dialogue? Oh, she went back when she said she can't go into training anymore. I. What? I. I know you don't like me. We've really, really gotten into her training lately, huh? Yeah, ever since that is the last year. Oh. <laughs> Why, please don't ignore me. <laughs> oh. I thought it was Gato or something. <laughs> Mr. Light, good morning. It's just another normal day with Ron. Ron. No one likes me. No one will notice me even if I kill someone. <laughs> Shut up, Ron. Come on, don't be you silly, you silly goose. Wait a second. You don't mean you're the murderer. <laughs> no, no. I'm just a poor thief. No, wait. That's that's not right. I, I think can't really be... <laughs> Now, let's see, according to Mr. Delight, we're missing Grandma and he was following a bunch of set plans. So, technically, this does mean that he is guilty of stealing shit. I mean, if he really is. So, he's not really, like, innocent like a lot of my other clients are, like, completely innocent. Plans that someone have been sending to him to help him commit the, the heist. There's a connection between the thief and the murder, Nick. It's possible, but today's trials are a race against the clock. Oh, oh, come! Let's just check our time like always! All right, that's not an option. Why? Hmm, maybe... To do... Oh, to finish this trial before... Atme's trial ends, maybe? Oh, yeah, court number six. Shut the fuck up, everybody! Let's get this shit going. God damn. I am fucking ready. I am horny for some fucking gato. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Calm down. Of course, now it's actually from the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. This is ready, runner. And you're probably not going to say, oh, no, you said something. You're, you're ready. Preparation is the last refuge of the week. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, I needed that. I needed my gato fix. Oh, oh. Now throw coffee in my face and call me daddy. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Is he always like this? Yeah, you just get kind of used to it after all. <laughs> That's what I love about my OG. Okay, so there we go. Your opening statement, Mr. Gano. Oh, he's got the judge in the palm of his hands. And again, he's never in the palm of my hands. Why is that? <laughs> I love when he when he has it and he's not holding the cup. It looks like he's just like pointing at me like, hey, <laughs> hey, what's up? It's me, Gano, bitches. R Ronda is simply too young to be sent to war. That's all. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I have no idea what the fuck that means, Mr. Gano. Ha! Then you need to get out, m get out more of your honor. Life is war, but that is exactly why you must be more precise in your wording. Give me some fucking coffee. Pass me that shit. 
That's all my statement means. You understand now, right? By the way, you guys said you really like my Gato voice, so I'm glad. <laughs> Yay! Yes, well, let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Well, the judge is taking charge like he knows what's not going on for a change. How about that? The victim is Edgeworth. Uh, wait, no. <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> I just can't. I know this is a picture before, I didn't realize he's like, he's his tongue still got like, bleh. <laughs> Ugh, I'm dead. Ugh. His body was found on a safe at approximately 9 a.m. on the night, the morning of 13th. However, the time of death was estimated as 1 a.m. on the previous day. And that's when our lost little kitten dropped the ball. That little lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. He went fucking bananas. Well, Mr. Gatto, please call your first witness. Mmm, my first witness is fucking cocaine in my coffee. I never drink more than 17 cups of coffee during any given trial. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Dude, how do you, do you sleep ever? Of course not. Sleep is for the weak. But the first one is always the best. Oh, Mr. Gatto, your witness? God damn, why do I put up with this shit? Mm, mm, yummy. Yummy in my tummy. Okay then, let's hear what the defendant, Mr. Ron Light, has to say for himself. Defendant? Well, Mr. Wright, those defense have any objections. Maybe a bit of a disadvantage having the defendant testify, but whatever. I fuck if I give a shit. I remember when my Mia was defending me. She allowed me to testify so she could do the cross-examination. I was a little we little punk-ass bitch up there crying. I was like, bah! God, I loved that crazy-ass girlfriend of mine. She put a lot of, a lot of trust in me back then. <laughs> I hope he says right. No way! <laughs> Rod, get off the stand! <laughs> we have no extra honor the men's allowed to let Mr. Light to testify. Ha! You've got guts, right? <laughs> I, I can't believe I still haven't corrected him on that. Maybe I never will. All right, then, Mr. Rod, Light, please take a stand. God damn it, you're gonna fuck this up for me. I know we, <laughs> you were gonna fuck this up, Ron. Mm, yummy. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I knew it! Yes. Oh, oh no no no! What, what? What? I did auto scrolling. What? What did that guy say? I was I like what? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yes. I mean, no 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 no. That's not true. What, what? What are we talking about? Who are you again? Oh, wow. For a moment there, I thought you set the record for the shortest trial ever. Damn. You suck, Phoenix. You suck your job. Oh well, Mr. Lighter, he looks pretty guilty with that face he's making. And once he opens his big mouth, they'll probably put the last nail in his own fucking coffin. And my career. Ha, very well. Now then, can you tell me something? If you didn't kill Mr. Kill Bullard, why did you go to KB Security? Well, I... That's, that's kind of hard to say. I wish I, I wish I could go home. <laughs> I need to... It's been ages since I've curled my hair. It's starting to come loose. Now then, let's hear some testimony about what happened, for fuck's sake. Get on with it, you little weenie! My visit to KB Security. That evening around 1 a.m., I, I went to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. The blackmail letters I got, it ordered me to go there. I'd been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. Now that was short. 1 a.m., exact time the murder took place. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. I caught that one perfect. You see that whoosh? Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, the weak get washed away by the tides of fate. The strong drink it up. Like this. Ah. Uh, man, I am so fucking stoned right now. Oh, it's better today, just like my fucking destiny. No, 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 for the ways, Chad, chug it down. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, cross-examination if you please. Just watch how Rod fucks it up for you. All right, bring it on, Dodo. I mean, Rado, I mean, uh, Chono Bono. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, my visit to KB Security. Okay, every around 1 a.m., I want to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. Holy, what do you mean, that place? I don't, uh... 1 a.m. Oh, you're absolutely sure about that. Yes, that's my, what my watch said when I was entering the CEO's office. Er, no. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm not really sure. My, my watch was slow and my internal clock was also a bit dim dim dim. <laughs> 1 a.m., that's the exact time of the victim, Mr. Brawler, was murdered, correct? Yeah, you did it. You fucking did it! It's too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. <laughs> hmm. Damn, this guy really fucking loves coffee. He lo- As far as his teeth aren't yellow as shit. Okay, the black said said I got it ordered me to go there. What do you mean blackmail? It ordered you to go there. It was the first time I'd gotten a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere. Does that mean you've gotten other blackmail letters then? Oh, of course. They say things like, steal this, steal this, or take that. Ah, oh, why did you say that for those for later, Mr. Light? 
Please don't say anymore. Stop. You suck. Now, now what should I do? Don't say anymore. Now press harder. <laughs> so what did the blackmail letter in question say? It said to bring fifty thousand dollars. Money, eh? A perfect motive for committing murder. Oh, but, but wait, wait, wait! I never intended to pay that money anyway. Oh, is that right? I was gonna go there and fuck some bitches up. I was like, you think I can't take my money? I'm fucking Ron Delight. So I stabbed him right in the fucking face. I stabbed right in his stupid face. Ah. I mean, wait, what did I just say? Uh, well, I'm boned. That's it. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, I fell asleep during that part. What did you say? <laughs> After all, I had nothing to do to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Well, you knew what you're... Your secret, right? I knew you were the fucking thief, technically, right? Seems like you, you've got to be the guy who's stealing this shit, right? I don't, I don't, I just don't know how this is going to go. I mean, he still technically has done a whole bunch of illegal stuff. Oh, important point indeed. Where else does have that added to your testimony? Yes, sir. Ha! The money mud skipper is outer, in outer space has a better chance of surviving than I do. Foolishly foolish fool is a foolishly. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Karma, get out of my head. Hey, I am in your head. I'm whipping you. Ah! Oh, God, are you whipping me too? I'm in your head too, and she's whipping me. Stop it. Stop it, Phoenix. Ah, shut up, both of you. God damn. Stupid fucking voices in my head. Why won't they stop? Okay, Black Mail Thread didn't scare me. It, was going, it wasn't going to cause me trouble or anything. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyway? Blackmail there said if you don't want your identity revealed, correct? I'm sure it was referring to the whole mass to mass thing. But I wasn't worried. Mr. Bullet didn't have anything on me. He didn't? Anyway, I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as Desi believes in me. So that's why Mr. Light didn't believe he was mass to mass, because he's a little weenie bitch. And that's why I knew they were just hollow threats. Hmm. Uh, I'm worrying for say it keeps here until a year ago. I knew where his office was. You used to be a game, chief security chief of gave security, right? Yes, that's right. Security chief! You? And yet... <laughs> what? No fucking way, dude! <laughs> I don't believe in no way. And yet, a year ago you were fired without notice. Revenge for an old grudge. A perfect motive for murder, wouldn't you say? Mm. Eh, this isn't good. Maybe I should change the subject. Uh... Uh, life after being fired? Don't say anything. Why was he fired? I'm kind of curious. Mr. Light, please tell us why you were fired from your job. Well... The world the world is filled with those who have said. I wish I'd never asked that. Okay then, I take it back. Find it, please answer the question. I wanna, I wanna know. Fuck it, I don't care. I will. I, I needed money. You needed money? Um, well, y you see, D Desi loves to spend it. I, it's kind of her hobby. <laughs> No, I'm telling you the best hobby in the world, aren't you? <laughs> what can I say? She's a gold digger. <laughs> she only loves me for my money. <laughs> I'm never gonna find another woman that hot. <laughs> my salary wasn't nearly enough, so I, I stole data from the company. Oh. W wait, coming in? KB Security has a lot of security info on all sorts of companies. And since I was security team chief. You stole some data and sold it. Mr. Buller found out and I was fired immediately. Oh my god. Wow. Wow! Dude, you were lucky we wouldn't get fucking... Did you should've gotten fucking prosecuted for shit like that. I mean... Yeah, you would've gone to fucking jail. <laughs> Whoa! I, ne I wish I never asked that. Yeah, dude, that's... Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's lucky he didn't go to jail. I was somehow able to keep it secret. It made it seem like I had quit on my own. What is it, Nick? You don't look so good! Blah! Someone who brings harm to their company is fired as punishment. You do well to remember that. He sure told, he sure told you. So you meant that you stole data from your company? Is that correct? Y yes, I'm sorry. That's a very important fact. Please add to your testimony. Oh man, oh man. This whole thing just took a big turn for the worst. Crashed and blew up and I farted and I'm, I'm dead inside. It's gonna take the jaws of life to rip this case from the clutches of disaster. He fired me for selling company secrets, but Desi know it doesn't know about it. I should press on that. Why would you do something like that? Well, for, for Desi's hobby, what else? Is she watching this right now? She's like, oh, that, oh, that round of mine. Just stealing money from me. Wasting money, huh? It's not a waste. <laughs> so Mr. Light doesn't know that her husband was fired, does she? 
Oh, it's him. Not sure what to think about couples who keep serious eyes from each other. I can't believe it. This case has gotten even mine to think seriously about couples. At least try to stay focused on the right. Get your head out of your ass. Oh, there wasn't much to his testimony, was there? Oh, I guess I'm avoiding something. At the, very, at the least, it sounds like, that's what it sounds like to me. Uh-oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Better be careful. But we don't find a way to make him spill the beans. We'll never get closer to the truth. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's kind of hard to like, why would I want to say this to my client? But, uh... I bring up his testimony from the other day, right? From Master Mass Second Heist, he was stealing his directive, so... Objection! Or not. Hey, you were totally real. Why, why isn't that right? I thought that it was saying, like, hey, he had an idea of who you were. I just realized that, that, that he spelled threat wrong. There's just the, bl the blackmail thread. Okay, oh, yes. Okay, so I believe... Yeah, because Rump, but it would, because it... Then what if Desi thought that he was a criminal, right? She says she hates criminals, so this? There we go, fuck. Mr. Lightweight, it didn't have as a match what you told me yesterday. Huh? What? What doesn't? I think you must have been scared, very scared, of having a certain person find out your secret. Uh, gulp, I mean... Certain person? Who would that be? Blah. Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. What? <laughs> But I... Listen to me, my Desi, she's... Is she at the trial right now, or is she just... What is she doing? Look, if I... Look, looks like if I just sit back and relax, someone will end before it truly begins. Grr, Gatto, grr! Yes, we know. We is, it was all your wife's fault. What What do you mean? Mr. Mr. Light stole company data to pay for his wife's spending habit, for which he was hot-fired. On him to face his own wife, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. And that is how this murder came about. Oh! Mm. Mm. No, everything is falling neatly into place for him. Fuck my balls. Don't talk about my Desi like that. I'll come over and murder the shit out of you. <laughs> or you'll be sorry. <laughs> well, it seems you're fucked. That we've learned a great deal of things here so far. What do you think, Dick? Uh, I didn't think it was impossible to get so thoroughly <laughs> boned in just 20 minutes. Clearly, there was sufficient motive for murder. He stole data from his, for his wife, and he killed to protect his secret. Family man who cared just a little too much. Mmm, yummy. The motive is clear. Let's move on. Oh, oh, God. I'm dead inside. What happened at the crime scene at one in the morning, Mr. Delight? Come now, tell us. We're all ears. <sighs> the CEO's office. What did you do, Ron? When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. <laughs> Zavari! <laughs> Zavari! Boom! <laughs> and suddenly, I was bitch slapped in the, in the forehead, and after that, I remember being a bit dazed. If I hadn't been wearing that... I'm wearing that, I would have been killed. Uh... Ooh. Wearing what? You were wearing your mat. You were in the mask, weren't you? When I came to... Mr. Bullard was lying there, dead! I'm sorry, you said he bopped you in the forehead? You would've been killed from a bop to the forehead? <laughs> With a palm pun- <laughs> Zavari punch! Pajia! So, I see, you're on the forehead, huh? I hear when that happens. I believe the detective from yesterday provides similar testimony. So the master mask struck him on the head from the from behind. Of oh, course, oh, since that may turn into the culprit himself, that was all a lie. Ha! No one's going to believe a pathetic lie like that. What are you saying? I was really was attacked. We'll find out if what you say is true or not during the cross-examination. Got that, Mr. Trite. Don't go easy just because he's your client. Ah, give me some more. All right, cup number 18. <laughs> if I see any sign that you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. I'll burn the fuck out of your skin. Or what's left of it after I burned it last time. You don't need to worry about that, Mr. Gatto. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it. Oh, actually, I don't, but whatever. <laughs> All right, bring it on, earrings. Let's do this. I just realized you have earrings on your ear. Okay, I'm gonna ask him because that's like this is like the thing that just stuck out, stuck out immediately. It being dazed. If I hadn't been wearing that, wearing what? I'm thinking the mask. That. Yeah. Could you please clarify what you were referring to? What? My mask, the mask costume, of course. I knew it. Well, where is the moment? Master mask. Uh, oh, did, did I forget to mention it before? Just to be on the safe side, I dressed as Master Mass. I was like, ha ha, <laughs> look at me. And then I descended up upon the office of the CEO of KB Security. <laughs> what? 
Nick, did you know about this? You tell me this. I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me either. <laughs> even I didn't know that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, isn't this good for me? I don't, I don't even know anymore. I am so confused. It seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. I'm sorry, I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. Wait, w wait, that's not right. Um, you know, I, I, sometimes I, things just slip your mind. Shut up! Aha! Uh, My six cup of coffee is stirring up at me coldly. All right, we can just ignore it. Can't just ignore this new piece of information. Witness! Police just fired. Correct your testimony. I'd have been killed if it hadn't been for wearing my master mask costume. Why were you dressed up as Master Mask? Why? Because I'm Master Mask, of course. What, what are you talking about? Master Mask trial is being held next door, you dumb bastard. Wait, who the... Who? Is there another judge in this fucking courthouse? I'm sorry, that was the only judge that existed in the entire world. Uh, yes, I guess so. And anyway, at the time, I thought I was being blackmailed over the Master Mask issue. So I thought I should go as him just to be safe. Oh, boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around with that cape. And that's why it took a lot longer than I expected. Took a lot longer? What is he talking about now? Uh... Um, what do you mean by it took a lot longer? I feel like I'm just digging my own grave here. Oh, opening the safe, of course. My cape got caught on the safe door, you see. This all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullet's part. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. I'm dead. Just, 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 just... Go ahead, take me out back, and shoot me in the motherfucking face with a shotgun. I'm am fucking done. Why was that? Hold back up a second. Wait, 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 wait. Your hair is red. Yes. You were the one that put the body in the safe. Um. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Inconceivable. No one. It's outrageous and greatest, preposterous! Why? Just why? What reason could you have? What are you thinking? I uh, seriously, that is the dumbest thing. That is the dumbest thing you could possibly do, all right? I mean, if you see someone who's dead, a dead body, I mean, it's one thing if you, it's like, you think, oh, they're alive, I can save them or something, but if you see a dead body, don't fucking move it and put it someplace else. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and just take my DNA, my fingerprints, and rub it all over this, and then, you know, I'm just gonna cut a bit of myself and put it on them too, just to throw some of that in there, and some of this, throw some confetti, add some seasoning, and there we go. Now, go ahead and cuff me. Mmm, man, that's an easy one. Question: When does someone doss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, what? The answer is simple. After drinking coffee. Wait, that, what? That, what? <laughs> That's your answer to everything, isn't it? I mean, when they take them off. As usual, I have no fucking clue what you're saying. Do you mean that Mr. Light in the body because he's the murderer? Ha! So you're not as stupid as you look. This metaphor this job is really obscure. <laughs> uh, so he took the. Wait, you're saying. So he took the pants off. Is the pants the guy? Wait, or the short. The shorts is the guy. So you're telling me that he took the CEO Buller off his bottom half and threw it in the washing machine, which in the washing machine, in this case, is the safe? So he, the Kane Buller, the, the shorts he's wearing, you're telling me he was wearing another person? Oh my god, what kind of fucked up place is this? Calm down, Judge Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, oh, I was having flashbacks. I was Vietnam. I was actually never there, but I watched TV shows. That's right, you mean, don't mean that you knew about this whole thing, but let's tell you! Well, well, yes. I'm the one down the loop here! No one ever tells me anything. Witness, make sure you ask your testimony or I will pop you good! Yes, sir. Uh-oh, looks like a storm is front is moving in over the fair weather judge. I panicked and hid the body in the safe. It took about 10 minutes. Okay, here's probably where... But the, is it maybe because the buzzer was... Uh, 102, but he, he could have still been alive, so. Objection! Oh, that works. It worked, but I'm not really sure why. But the buzzer was hit at 102, but I mean, if he was. If he, if he showed up at 1 o'clock. Uh, this is fucking. <laughs> Let's go! Get all of it and go! You're on a good, please take a look at this record. I'm sure I'll figure it out here in a second. What? What might this be? The record for the emergency buzzer that connects the CEO's office of security. If the button in the office is rest, the security team is supposed to come running. 
And according to this record, the buzzer was pushed once at 102 B AM. What? what, what? If Ron Lutch truly was a murderer, he would have ran as soon as that buzzer sounded. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Right, I see where he's going. It was a bit of a stretch, though. I, 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 was, I feel like I was a bit lucky. I, I didn't really, like... To me, it was like, what, am I trying to prove that he was still... Like, I was... I thought we were trying to prove that he was dead by the time he pushed the buzzer or something. And then, like, why would he... In fact, he might have still been alive or... So, I don't know. The drone security guard would have been heading his way. Objection. Ha! Let's remember who we're dealing with here. He probably had no idea there were there were security personnel in the building. Blah! Up until one year ago, my client was working as chief of security. There's no way he wouldn't have known about them. Objection. Mm. But, as it turns out, the guard never came. Yes, because Larry sucks. Uh, it was nothing more than a coincidence. The fact that the guard was a pathetic loser. Hey, dude! Who had just gotten punched in the face by his ex's new boyfriend. It wasn't anywhere in the near the vicinity of something. In the, anywhere in the vicinity was not something Mr. Light could have known. Ugh. Ah. Again, remember who we were dealing with here. It's a sure bet that Mr. Delight didn't even notice that the buzzer going off. Why wouldn't he? His buzzer is extremely loud. There's no way you could have ignored something like that. I mean, come on, Maya pressed the shit out of that and made my ears ring. That's right, I like making noise. If he had been conscious, that it, if he had been conscious, that is. Conscious? What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, of course, of course. So the, okay. All right, nice one there, Phoenix. I, yeah. Phoenix is a bit ahead of me on that one. Ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> Fine. Let's hear your theory. Blah. Remember the defendant's testimony. The moment he entered the victim's office, someone attacked him. Mr. Lai said he felt dazed. I'm willing to wager that he was knocked unconscious for at least a few minutes. A conscious? Do I faint it? That's why Mr. Oh, that's that's why Mr. Light didn't know that the buzzer had sounded, and that and that's why he thought he had time to hide the body. So what are you trying to say? Mr. Light was knocked out, and the buzzer went off soon afterwards. And now, now unless my client was able to hit the buzzer while he was still unconscious, he only mean that there was another person in that room. And that's right, whoever was knocked out, Ron Light didn't press the buzzer. I see. So he pressed the the guy pressed the buzzer to in order to get. Uh, the security to run in there and see that him next to the body, but I guess he must have woken up before, and well the Security never came so or order the car right this this is Ugh. <laughs> This this is preposterous. This, it was this kid Ron Delight is the one who killed Rick Kane Bullock Suck my balls then who rest the buzzer it, it was the victim of course He pressed the buzzer when the defendant attacked him he didn't die right away. He must have held on long enough to push that button. Ah! Uh, so Kane Bowler sounded the buzzer himself. Large pin on there, Mr. Wright. I need to prove the real criminal was there at the scene. But how? Now I gotta prove it wasn't Kane Bowler who sounded the buzzer. Well, it, it said that he didn't have his fingerprints on it, right? There are no fingerprints on it. I mean, why would he wipe the fingerprints off of it, right? I mean, right? There's no, there's no reason why he would do that. So yeah, I, I can prove it. The defense's opinion is this, your, your honor! And a piece of evidence proves that it wasn't the victim who sounded the buzzer. I believe this is the piece of evidence, incontrovertible evidence you were looking for. The emergency buzzer? <laughs> we know, we know what we're talking about. Is this some kind of clue on it? Absolutely not. Ha. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sw swish. Hey, come on, come on now. At least give us some thought to what you say before opening your mouth. The fact that there are absolutely no clues is itself the clue. I'm the one who's clueless. I love that movie. This button has no fingerprints on it. If Mr. Bell had really pressed it himself, naturally he would have let his fingerprints behind. What? What? Rather light. Obviously, wipe them off. Why though? There wouldn't be no reason to. Why would he? A guard could have come in at any moment. He touched the button. He didn't, I know he did. The minute Mr. Delight was dressed as Master Mask. Master Mask always wears gloves. Yeah, that's also true. Well, what reason could he possibly have to wipe the button for your fingerprints? Or, 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 or. Ah, it would seem. 
I've been forced to eat crow. I wonder what blend, blend never crow flavor coffee is. Mmm, yummy. However, the real killer was there at the scene. Why would that person press the emergency bother? To try to frame uh, Ron, right? He Shouldn't they have run away without putting themselves in extra danger? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are those all of a sudden? Answer my fucking question! Ha! It looks like you're fresh out of polo tricks. They're on you, Nick! Just give me a minute to collect my thoughts. Uh, real culprit killed Mr. Bullet at around 1 a.m. And Mr. Light just happened to waltz in the mur when the murder was taking place, right? The killer clobbered Mr. Light and then sounded the buzzer. Even though security was supposed to respond right away if the buzzer was pressed. The security was, suppo was, was supposed to respond. Hmm. He was trying to set him up. I, th I think that's the point, right? Time to Mr. Right. Let's hear what you have to say. Very well then. Oh, you got some you got some guts. I like that in an opponent. Why did the real killer sound the emergency bother? <laughs> to find out what it did. To call a security guard. They didn't mean to. To call a security guard. The killer knew that if they pressed that button, a guard would come running. And that was exactly what they wanted. You mean to say the killer called the guard on purpose? Yes. Although it turned out he never showed up. Because he was getting his clock clean at the time. Hit him. Ha, what a touching story. You're saying the killer had change of heart and called the guard to turn himself in. Blah. No, I'm, no, I'm not. When the brothers out there were three people in that office. The victim, Kane Bullard, who was already dead. The vendant, Ron Delight, who was out cold. And the third person, the real killer. <laughs> I wish they, you know, I feel like it's sort of like uh, ruining it a bit by them showing the silhouette of, you know, at me there. It's kind of like, it's like, they're, it's like, okay, well, it's going to end up being him, I guess. Him, I guess. I don't know. I kind of I wish they didn't do that, because then I'd be like, who the fuck could it be, you know? And I really would have had me in, in circles. Hypothetically, yes. Now then, in this situation, if the real killer made an escape, what would happen? The only ones left in the room would be the victim and Ron Delight. And, and if any security guards came running in at the time, then they would think that I was the murderer. Ding, ding, ding! Yes, you finally said something smart, Ron. Yes, that was precisely the real killer's objective. To frame Ron Delight for the murder! Uh -huh. Uh, okay, it's fine. No problem. I got crack. I got crack coffee. I can, I can do this. I can do it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Order, order, order. Uh, it would seem. Uh, okay, I'm, off. I'm up to coffee cup number 12. I have been made to eat my words once again. Have you been made to, you've been made to take a, do a spit take with a cup of coffee. <laughs> Mr. Wright, who was it? Who was it that tried to frame me? Or, wait, wait, wait a second. I'm, I'm the one and only Master Mask, so... Nick, you mean the real killer is... We're going to drag that person in here right now. But, but, but who is it? I don't know if he's all yet, but think about it. The killer knew Mr. Delight's identity, and they also knew that he had been called to the KB security that night. So the real killer used to ex execute a well-crafted plan to murder King Bullard. Mm. Now then, let's hear your accusation, Mr. Wright! Who was the frame the strong life of the murder of King Bullard? It was! Based on the silhouette, it was you! Of course, also the other things make sense, too, but... Did I go to look at me? He's the only one who could have done it. Ace Detective. Look at me? You mean, Master Master did it? No. Your Honor, the person being tried in the garden next to us is not Master Mask at all. He is actuality. The true murderer of King Bullard! Art, art! Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Theft and murder. Which is the more serious crime? They're not even close. Murder's the more, more serious crime, of course. It's capital crime subject to a capital punishment. We're gonna fuck him up if he's still out guilty. Please remember the trial from yesterday if you would. <laughs> when Luke Atmes confessed, there was a huge commotion in the courtroom. So he did it. He did it to. Okay. So he he, he did it to avoid the the less serious crime. Sort of like how Ron had done it. That he did the same thing. Tried to confess because he didn't want to be framed for murder. But uh, 
I don't know why Ron didn't tell us that to begin with, you know, <laughs> honestly. Then again, Ron is kind of a doodle. But that means so that that means that Abby did the same thing. But it's it, it's just kind of strange to me because in the end, regardless, Abby would still have gotten punishment. I guess it just would be less severe. Of course, the famous detective was a mass as as, as well as mass and mass. Instead of being convicted of murder, he was found guilty of grand larceny. That was his true objective all along. We found guilty. Master Mass had the perfect alibi for when the murder took place. He was still in the urn at Lower Lake Taylor. In other words, being found guilty was Master Mask. Was to look at me, airtight, watertight, and unassailable alibi. Guilty murder? That's an alibi? That is kind of bizarre. I mean, I don't know. I, I wish they would give us, like, exactly. I mean, this is a capital punishment for murder, but then what has it compared to Grand Larceny? I mean, it, Grand Larceny is a pretty big deal, too. I mean, you get out of jail eventually, but I don't know. I'm not really sure. Also, this game is probably, well, in, you know, this localized version, it takes place in you know, California or something, but, you know, originally took place in Japan, so I don't really know how their court system works. You know, it's almost time. For what? Funky time. Gato time. For Luke Atme's verdict, it was a pretty simple trial after all. If we're going to stop this trial, install that one. We need to do it now. Of course. That's assuming you have proof that the detective was the one who committed the murder. Oh, Dixie called. Hey, call my bluff. Luke Atme's trial has been deep in attracting the attention of the entire country. We were true. And failed to find an adequate proof of his true crime. Mr. July would be left with no grounds for appeal. Hmm, am I really sure about this? Ha. I bet it's only good when your life's the ante. Mr. Wright, I, I believe in you. Mr. Light. So, so, please. I'm begging you, dude. <laughs> Thanks, but I didn't determine the rest of your life. Can I really risk your life like this? Phoenix, don't be a bitch. Mm, oh, your boobs. Have a, have a look at me. What was that? Don't stray, Phoenix. For your client, take the path of trust. Hmm. That voice. It sounds like Mia. Why am I shocked? She shows up all the fucking time. You're on the rest of the immediate recess. Ha. So that's your answer. Ha. Very well. I've signed as well. Score will now take a 20 minute recess. You know what all that means? Everybody together now. <laughs> ma, 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 <laughs> right. ma, 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 yeah, yes, Your Honor. I'm gonna go talk to Mia, because I can't do shit myself. Number 14, 11, 15, and District Order number 5. Oh! <laughs> ah, it's me, Max Payne. Of course, I would be the prosecutor. Ah, uh, well, sir, detect that me. Ah, hey, I have to say, Mr. Payne, you perform splendidly, splendiferously. Uh oh, no, sir, detect that me. You are the one who. <laughs> Oh, what the? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! What is that? What am I? Oh my god! What? Okay, this just looks weird to me. Does it just not look like someone took a face and plastered it over the judge's original face and then changed the color of his beard? <laughs> they didn't want to bother drawing the bottom half of his body, so they just took a face and plastered on it. <laughs> Hello there, I'm alternate version judge! <laughs> I am alternate universe judge. I am. Oh my god. I'm his younger persona. This is what I should have looked like in the past, but no, I couldn't do. They had, apparently, the artist had enough time to make this judge for this judge for two seconds and not give not give the real judge a fucking younger version of himself. Well, that's enough. Of course, there's no reason to further prolong this trial. I sound sort of flippant because I'm alternate judge. This court finds the defendant, Luke, at me. Mm, look. Uh, uh, oh, I get it, Luke. Hold it. Wait! Don't hit on your word again, please. Eh, well, well, sir lawyer, welcome to my courtroom. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Who, who's this hoser, eh? Oh, uh, uh, who? Oh, God. I don't know if I can do a good Canadian accent. So he's supposed to be Canadian. Eh, who's, who's this hoser, eh? I don't think I can do a Canadian accent. Hey, who's this Ozer? Ooh, who's this Ozer, eh? My name is James Wright, attorney at law. Now I wish to file an accusation against this man. Look at me. Accusation? Excuse Master Mask. Why are you always fucking up my trials? 
That man is not Master Mask. He is a ruthless murderer. What? Balzac. Oh, dicks. No, 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 no. Oh. We're just getting in there? That was kind of a short one, wasn't it? Oh. All right. Well, I was, uh, I was a shorter one. <laughs> Lately, it's been like, you know, like over an hour. Well, it's kind of, it's almost like a breath of fresh air. It's only 45 minutes. <laughs> that means a lot less time editing. So it's almost a relief. <laughs> uh, I mean, I still want to keep going, but I'm gonna make you guys sweat, huh? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, anyway, I'll save for next time. Um, so <laughs> I can't, I still can't believe they should, they made a new judge for just that one scene. But they can't bother giving the real judge a younger version in the, the first trial. That's fucking bullshit. They could have just colored his beard and made it slightly darker. No, apparently that's just too much effort. Nope, they gotta make me look... <laughs> apparently I'm over a thousand years old. <laughs> I will never die. But, uh, it's getting interesting. So, it, it is kind of baffling to me, though. This, like, really, man? That was the first thing that... That was the idea that you came up with. It's like, I'm gonna kill this guy... And in order to get my alibi, I'm going to get a guilty verdict of something else. I mean, Grand Larcy is still a big fucking deal. You're going to get go to jail for a good few years, and it's probably going to ruin your career. So it's like, you know, I, I mean, I guess it's between, like, getting 10 years in prison and life in prison or death, <laughs> death penalty. But still, that's, I don't know. I'd be like, are those only choices? <laughs> Can I maybe choose something else? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, like for if you enjoy, subscribe now, become Pinky Penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.